hello, hello, hello. Uh, this is Gabriel. I hope you're doing well. Uh, what is going on? We're going to be rambling on a little bit about uh, what's happening here with uh, this vehicle and why am I running my hands on it, all over it, very passionately. And uh, it's because I want to get rid of whatever is sitting on top. This is right before, um, oh yeah, 11.28. So we'll see when we finish this car. Um, right before I wash it, I'm doing that just so I can get whatever is on top sitting, uh, any dust and stuff, just getting it out there. Um, the car should be clean by the time it comes in the booth. However, we want to make sure that we clean, 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 clean. And we clean it really well, okay? Uh, I think that's key to a clean paint job, really. Not to be so upfront, but yeah, if you're dirty, your jobs are gonna be dirty. And that's just kind of like the way it is, you know? Make sure you clean the edges. And I'm putting quite a bit of pressure while I'm wiping. Sure you get the edge here, right? The stuff gets stuck in there. Water cleaner. Nice pressure. now is I am making sure that I'm blowing all the little cracks and crevices and I'm also wiping with the microfiber cloth to make sure that there's nothing getting stuck to the substrate. That hopefully is a good tip for uh, everyone to, to take away from this video. It's, it's better to go a little bit slower, put a little more pressure and make sure that you're getting all the stuff that's sitting on top that a lot of times you're not you kind of like glaze over it and you can't really feel it and i'm trying to blow everything away from the panel blow everything away from the uh from the car and the panels that i'm going to use and I'm using my static gun this this thing works great i mean it does its job i feel that not 100 percent necessary for everything you do However, if something can minimize the polishing I do, then for me it's worth it. PPG and Virebase reduced 20%. First coat.
25 psi. Second coat's gonna be really heavy. I always say, let the gun do most of the work. I'm angling it there, and then I'm putting the, twisting it a little bit up so that the fan does all the work and I don't have to do much. Woo! Very good, let's go. So you are seeing correctly what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing is on the outskirts where I, I blend it, I am. Uh, I got my blower, and I'm just blowing things away from the repair, and getting rid of look the blue overspray of the base, um, so that eliminates any sand piling or anything like that. It works really well. Um, I I strongly suggest you try it. Um, you know, try it on something small first, because ev not every color is kind of different. This color I I did it because I knew that it wouldn't cause any streaking or anything like that, and um, yeah, it works well. It works well. So here I go light and then I put pressure. I go light and then I put pressure. Light, pressure. Light, pressure. Now we're gonna shut the lights off. Good to go, baby! Genesee Carbonio 360 light. This is a 1.2. Works amazing. 1.2, 1.3 for base, both my favorite. 18.5, 19 PSI. This is a control coat, the last coat before clear coat. And as you can tell, I'm putting it on fast, putting it on dry, right? And still letting the gun do the work. I do a double control coat because out of habit now and it works very well in every single color I do. But you see how I angle the gun there? Look. And it makes it really nice. Done. That's how you want the control coat. Light. No wet spots. You're good to go. You're good to clear. We can just give it a quick. And now we can go. Make the clear. And we're good to go. Leave a little bit out. This is my Carbonio three sixty light, thirty PSI. Um, beautiful gun. Nice regulator, you can take it on and off. Always take it off when you're spraying, that way you know it won't get full of overspray. And uh, yeah, so let's see what I'm doing here. What do you guys think I'm doing here? Um, looks like, a, uh, I don't know, maybe 60% overlap, 75% overlap, nothing crazy. I'm going a little bit faster because it's the first coat. This is EC520 from PPG, uh, EnviroBase, and as you can tell, you know, I'm trying not to put too much, not to put too little, but you want like a, you want a, a good coat on there to make sure that, you know, you get the right mill thickness and the UV protection and all that good stuff. I'm about six to eight inches, probably more like eight inches. And yeah, probably about six, uh, eight, eight to 10 inches. I try to be as consistent as possible, but it's, it's hard sometimes. But basically, this clear coat, it, the TDS sheet says to wait five minutes, but I don't wait five minutes because if you wait minute. five minutes, sometimes it uh, dies back. So I just wait about a minute, and that's all really it takes. All right, the way that I have this set up, 
is a fluid tip I'll show you fluid tip uh, a fan I have it let's see uh, all the way open okay all the way open just a little bit on closed fluid tip all the way open and then I go until it hits my my trigger right until I feel a little bit of pressure okay so all that way that open and 30 psi that's the way that this gun sprays the best for my opinion and the, my uh, painting style you can see it while I'm painting and this is a EC 520 with just like 5% less reducer and uh, it works amazing so I love it I mean look at that fan right if you look at it sweet spot it's like sweet spot it's like right about there so it's a bit close but I like it so I think that's about a minute of me rambling on so far so good I put this clear coat on uh, both both uh, both coats nice and heavy I don't like to let this flash off more than five minutes because it dies back so if you do like one minute three minutes it's okay it's perfect and then I bake it right away There you have it all done now I bake this uh, for 20 minutes at 120 degrees and uh, that's it so I mix I mix too much clear this gun's a, it's amazing to save clear I mixed uh, 21 ounces and I probably got hard to tell here but let me see I got probably kind of straight there I got like four ounces left so I could have mixed 18 19 ounces and it would have been okay for this three panels which are kind of large anyways I hope that helps uh, boys and girls I, I'm I don't know what else to say I just hope that helps somehow oh yeah I'm gonna spray the spray out card but uh, hey that's Easy peasy lemon squeezy and uh, I hope that adds value to somebody out there. Love you so much. Take care. God bless. Um, if you learned anything from here, let me know in the comments. I would love to see what it was that you learned from this, even if it's what not to do. Love you. God bless you. Take care. Motivated Painters over and out. All these spray guns, you can get them on MotivatedPainters.com. Okay, peace out.